<laughs> Everybody grab four cards and have some fun with it. Oh, no insta hero. I'm sad. That's not your normal card that you're always getting. I know. I got training time though. So oh. I'll play that assuming no one has any reds. No reds. Yeah, I don't have any reds. Cool. cool. I don't All right. Um, you guys are sitting around in the Australian embassy. Guard sticks his head in, carefully looks at all of you guys. <laughs> You're not Joshua McKay, he says, and then closes the door. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe some of us are Joshua McKay. Maybe he died and reincarnated in another body. No. He opens don't the door and goes, What? Which body? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. You said nothing. Don't confuse him. Slowly it closes the door. <laughs> Shows a catch on his horn. He opens it, moves the horn, closes it. <laughs> You're doing a great job, mate. <laughs> well, I might yeah. not be Joshua McKay, but uh, apparently I'm his Maybe first cousin. I am Joshua McKay now. You're not fucking... Stop. Stop. What? You're confusing, You're confusing them, don't. <laughs> Are you I'm feeling the power. <laughs> uh, anyway... I just look confused. <laughs> but I don't, yeah. Looks, so, what, hey, who are you? Oh, I'm uh, wrestling red, mate. Who are you? Mildred. Uh, we call her Mildred, but no one knows what her real name is. Ah, the woman with no name. Right. I've heard of you on the, uh, the Duvalaki boards. <laughs> yeah. So here we are in the embassy once again. So Indeed. I, well, I, uh, well, I said I'm sure you know what we're going to be doing today. At least part of what we may I, be doing. Yeah, I've got some. For, ideas. for some weird reason, I don't hear Jason at all. Uh, oh. Can you hear me? Reload. I can reload. hear him. Yeah. Reload, reload, reload. Hangouts. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. So, yeah. it's I Okay. Yeah, Russ had that problem the other day. Mm. You couldn't hear Chris for some reason. He may have been blocking him out, though. Mm, how would he do that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, subconsciously. Ah, I see. I mean, usually if somebody's married long enough, they oh, develop the that with life. Try it out, Jay. Can see uh, now, can you hear me now? Yay. All right. Yay. Nice. Success. Computers. So I didn't hear anything of what, uh, what you said. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh, I said I'm a uh, wrestling red. Okay. Are you like a wrestler or what? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it doesn't sound like that, like I'm a wrestler. <laughs> well, I have been known to grapple from time to time, but I'm not very good at it. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing here? Why are you here? Who are uh, you? You're 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 the the guys, you guys have that buddy feeling toward each other, if that makes uh, sense. We must be cousins as well. Yeah, maybe. No, not maybe. You are cousins. Uh, okay. <laughs> Just rolls around. I hate my family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like everybody else, I appeared to be plucked out of my prior life and dropped into this one. Mm. How do you like it so far? Yeah, it's about as weird as the last one. Cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious, what does it mean about your last life? We got pretty yeah. strange at times. Yeah. yeah what did yeah. you do in your last life? Ah, oh, well, uh, I worked a little bit with the military and uh, a little bit with some covert agencies investigating uh, paranormal anomalies and uh, mm. things like that. 
and uh, some blokes I uh, oh, you, you have a question do aliens exist well, of course they do they're all over the place what about ghosts maybe I don't know much about ghosts okay hmm. I could take you to an alien spaceship um that's uh, evidence of uh, aliens I think it's right here on this property too <laughs> Yeah. It's freakishly close now that you I mentioned. don't know if I want to go to the space. Do you know how to pilot it, a space? It doesn't have fuel, don't worry. Okay. It's I don't know how to pilot it, but uh, I found the found the bloke's uh, an owner's manual for it. Oh, you, okay. You can read Mandarin. A little bit. Ah, very good. So <laughs> you might be able to pilot a spaceship. Ooh. Nice. No, we're not. No, not, no. <laughs> yes, no. we know what we are doing today. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Actually, <laughs> Freddy, uh, you and my, you and me might need to take a peek under the hood of that thing for some parts later. Uh, I actually, I'm a little bit ahead of you on that, but I'll let you know. Right now, we have um, literally business to take care of. Um, so Mildred, to fill you in. Mm -hmm. Joshua, myself, and Dot Yang, yesterday we put down the down payment on the White Dove. Okay. And we agreed that since um, Rasslin over here is the most business savvy of all of us, he would negotiate the rest of the terms to purchase the White Dove from Mr. Hunt. Okay. Make sure all the Documentation is in order. Yada yada yada. Rasslin, I'm assuming you read Joshua's response to your question on the forums where he detailed everything out. Or did you yeah, I got a look at that, but I uh, should probably have another look. Yeah. Okay, he detailed more like what what's going on and all that. <clears throat> If you want to read out loud, then make better radio for the studio audience at home. Okay. And abroad. And abroad's home. What else is happening? Something. Um, well, we got our DNA tested okay. in Cyberpunk. We can confirm that myself, Dot Yang, and Joshua, uh, and probably all of, all of us are cousins first. First cousins, we're all related, yes, and we all have this strange How? strand of alien, alien and or unknown DNA That's that true. they couldn't identify. Hmm. Isn't yeah. that like the amber DNA? Well, they weren't sure what it was, but they were very, very interested in studying us further. Right. So, but yeah. you escaped. So that's good. Yeah, no, we, we told them we'd think about it. And then we left. Uh, yeah, make sure they don't put you in a hamster cage, Freddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next. Did you make yeah. money while I wasn't here? Uh, we traded a bunch of gold for cyberpunk money. Um, but no, we didn't make any. We just used what we already had. But what? now that we have wrestling, maybe that will change. Hmm. Right, wrestling? That's right. What you need, I can get. <laughs> Catch phrase. Right. So we are all family. That's great. Yes. How can Isn't I that be great related? news? Yeah, great it's your lucky day. Uh, how can I Everybody be Everybody should have me as a cousin. Uh, you are too friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he great? I love him. Something suspicious about him. I don't you know, know what you're talking about. You notice exactly. Freddie's got, got quite a bromance. I don't hear Logan on. now. That's fucked. <laughs> what? Oh, you don't hear Logan now? Oh. Okay. We the thing. Again? Yeah. Okay. What, what, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's stupid. No. She gone? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the universe doesn't approve. I, I, I'm betting it's her shitty headphones. There she is. Everybody say something. Something. I still, don't, I still don't hear Logan. Oh, no. What? 
Um, but you then can hear the others. Well. Um, okay, go into if you expand yeah, the you, screen. I don't, I don't think she hears you. I think that's. Oh, sorry. Okay, uh, uh, Tori, go into the control room. Go into the control room. He says. Control room. What is the control room? Control room. Control room. Part of the screen. Okay. Yeah, over on the left. It looks Wait a minute. Like what am I doing? We got. Mm -hmm. We got you guys for computer support. You tell her. Yeah. So go into control room. That's what. The... They say that I'm part of like moderated video call. And there oh. are. No, go into the toolbox. The one that you fit. Oh, okay. And then go into like a little. Oh, if you get a box, just say accept, blah, blah, blah. You mm -hmm. agree to all the bullshit. Okay. Um, then on the top right, there's a little sound like button, like a speaker. Yeah. Is Logan all the way up or in the middle? Uh, or... Wait a minute. Everybody is in the middle. And, well, okay. Logan. So he's not muted then. And yeah, then I don't know why it's not. Tell her to try playing with my, my slider. Play with his um. Sl I'm not saying that. <laughs> what do you? Yeah. Try, try. Uh, maybe yeah. his volume up and down a little. Maybe I'll do it. Try to say something. No. No. Right, no. Right. no. Hmm. It's gonna be a tricky session for Yana. <laughs> yeah, just really love trying again. I don't know what else to, to do. Yeah. Maybe I can restart my computer or something. I don't that know. That shouldn't make a difference, honestly. Okay, so I just reload this. Yeah. <clears throat> she makes her luck roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, belly. Belly, belly, belly. Belly. Oh. Still uh, nothing. Uh, what the okay, hell? I can I can try reloading real quick. Hold on a minute. I'll oh. go out and come back in. Okay. Okay. There you go. So okay. Logan will be loud. Maybe I'll fix it. Yeah, but it's weird. This never happened to me before. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> Did you try clicking on that little down arrow over? His feet. Baka, baka, baka. Uh, baka? No. She is still can't hear you. God no, damn it. Can't hear him. You Why haven't you ignored him me? by any chance, have you? What? You haven't ignored him by any chance. No. When no. I click on the little arrow, there's like ignore and turn off. Okay. Yeah. Try, try turning it off I and back it. on again. Maybe that will work. When I turn this mic on and off. Okay. I mute him and then unmute him. I don't know. Uh, unmute him. <laughs> uh, Logan, baka, need to unmute baka, 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 oh, baka, baka. No. Can you hear him now? No. Say something. Baka, baka, baka. Uh, I try to ignore him and then unignore him. What? Okay. But that's, they tell me that. Try, okay, try just. I don't... Are you using the same browser as you normally use? Chrome? Yes. Mm. Are you using but Chrome? I can try to use different ones. Maybe it will no, help. No, using the same one. Try to close, close the entire browser and okay. try it again. I like will everything. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, good thinking. Probably won't reset unless you close all the browsers. Mm. If this doesn't work, tell her to have her computer turn off and back on again because computers <laughs> like that when you do that. It's like giving a computer a hug, a sensual, sensual hug. A creepy, sensual hug. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. Because it yeah. happened with Russ, but mm. I don't know what he did to... Oh, I know what he did. Find out what browser she's using. If it's not Chrome, it's ever Chrome. use Chrome. It's Chrome. Well, no, she, she didn't say it was Chrome. She said it was the Is same it? browser she normally uses. Oh, okay. Oh, that's yeah, that's else. different. It may be something else she's using. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'm suspicious. <laughs> mm. 
Baka, baka, baka. Yes, I hear you. Wait, can you hear the rest of us? Yes, I hear the rest of us. Yes. Yes. Baka, baka, baka. Victory. Great success. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn. I remember your Borat impersonations. <laughs> oh, so many fucking stories. All right. Good. Okay. Yay. All right. Everybody reduce your hands back down to four cards. Okay. Um, I'm going to limit it between the t 20 time and. Uh, are you again. sure? Are you yes, sure you want to use a limited retrieve on that? There are better yeah, because cards. I know what my luck is like, and I'm going to lose it, so I'd rather just use it now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to check in, I don't know, bargain. Sniper rifle? Rifles, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Okay. See, I, I, now, um, I don't know. Yana and Yana and Jason may have some input on this because they've they've been doing this system for quite a while. But it's my belief that if you pick out three skills every session and you're like these or, or pick out three skills and concentrate on them until they're like 80 or higher and always make sure to get a check in those three, then uh, it gives you a lot more character advancement than haphazard. Oh, yeah, definitely. Hmm. I know. Most people forget that, though. Plus, I've got so many goddamn skills in the game right now that uh, yeah. building building up everything is not going to happen. So you have to figure out which direction you want to go, especially with the amber shit in there. Yeah. Yeah. That's an amount of sweetness and light. Ooh. Anyway, where were we? Um, we were discarding. Uh, anybody want a history plus 20? No. Nope. Not really. Uh, you think a clogging greed is worth holding on to at the beginning or just. Super early in the game That's right very now. Very early, yeah. Oh, and I would like to uh, let everybody know that we're the name of the game today is to try to drain Freddy's hero points because he's no. run away. Well, don't do that. From I did, damn I did. Matrix I did. power. Um, <laughs> Oh, Jay, did did we tell you about Matrix powers and stuff? I've just seen it mentioned, but I don't um, know anything about them. Okay, uh, your overflow uh, hero points. Um, any any hero points you get that are uh, over twenty go into your overflow. Overflow is completely inaccessible. However, when you get to 50, 100, uh, or 50, 100, 150, et cetera, every 50, you get something called a matrix power, which uh -huh. is super cool shit that goes with you everywhere. And it's like permanent, permanent abilities you can either work on for new abilities or some, uh, some of them are like the 50 ones. The first tier is uh, like a new skill. Second tier is once an adventure. The third tier is always on. And once you get up to 150, then when you get to 200, you start back at the first tier, and then you go dunk, 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 dunk. So far, um, the the highest one is we've got I think one person with third tier, and I think two people with second tier. So they're, wow. and it's it's slow to get them because uh, it's always tempting to spend hero points during the game, especially on stupid shit as well. Oh, yeah. You know, so. That's not, not, not falling to our death. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be a big one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Does anyone want skill 15? Uh, uh, if you don't want it, I'll take it. Yeah, I will give it. Skill 15 is a pretty good one. Yeah. Does anyone want the gambling addiction before I get rid of it? Yana is the only yeah. professional gambler in the group, yeah. to the best of my knowledge. You want it? Okay, I'll give it to you. Oops, I dropped it. Oh, crap. Hold on. It's I'm, on not, I'm not sure if she wants the card, but she is a professional gambler. She oh, just okay. never well, gambles. If you want it, it's down. Yeah. By no. the horse. I don't okay. yeah, I see it. I don't think I I will be gambling this time. Just checking. Mm, yeah. Yeah. It was actually I, shocking how good of gambling she was. I know. <laughs> All right, and then I've got two assistant plus fives, so I'm going to get rid of one of those, unless you want it. Uh, I'll put it right yeah. there on the top if you want it. 
So I have a scale 5, a scale 10, and a scale 15. Mm, nice. Mm, yeah. I'd probably dump the skill 5 and grab the assistant 5 instead if it was me. Mm. Yeah. I could do. Yeah, okay, I'll I'll grab that one that you just called it and put my one in. Yeah, so if we got a important role, we could potentially get a plus 20 mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. between us. Yeah. All right, cool. <clears throat> I like the cards. So, um, yes. So we need to go, we need to first um, ask Miss Foxy to um, give us the rest of the gold that was released to myself and wrestling to go and make the rest of the payment for the the, um, the white doves. Okay. Then Rasslin, it's down to you to negotiate everything. Did you read the board, by the way, or what Joshua said? Um, yes, uh, a little bit. So my understanding was that they had already struck a deal and put yes. a deposit of 400 gold down and that uh, there was an outstanding balance of 1,000 gold or so. And uh, that's the gist of it. I saw that uh, the funds are here and uh, old Foxy is, uh, can get it for us. Yep. And you also need to like, he mentioned that there might still be property um, at the white dub, like cars and furniture and stuff. And <clears throat> we need to like right. figure out if we're allowed to keep that. If he's even aware that it's there. And if he is, if we're allowed to you know, take that with us, is it part of the deal or, you know. Hmm. Is well, from what I remember, there was a couple of uh, flying cars with Gestapo logos on them, so mm -hmm. they're not even they don't belong to the current uh, Hunter. Yeah, that, probably uh, not. Him, yeah. Mr. Hunt yeah. has uh, collaborated with. Yeah, well, then just the furniture that's already there. Like I'm assuming it's part of the the deal, but you know. So we did it. Make sure. We didn't overthrow the government yet? Oh, we did. Well, not we, really, but <laughs> the other people did. Okay. Good. Not in this world, anyway. Mm. Yeah, so, were oh, you, uh, one last... Mildred, were you yeah. planning mm. on uh, overthrowing the Gestapo or the, the current military hunter, whatever they're called, the V folks? They have a V on their flag. I, I'm not familiar with the few folks yet. Last time I was here, it was still the Gestapo, so... Uh, yeah, the view yeah. people are in charge now, apparently. So, and the V people are evil too, or what? Actually, uh, the V know. people were uh, with the Gestapo. The new people are, oh. have a different logo. It's changed. Oh, what's, ah. what's their logo? Uh, you, you saw it yesterday. You don't remember it? Yeah. Cool. Uh, no. <laughs> What, what are the new people doing? Are they evil or good or mm. just normal? I imagine the uh, new boss is the same as the old boss. Ah, we need to kill him. Before we do that, let's thing. find someone willing to pay for it. There is one other thing we need to be aware of. Well, particularly me. Uh, we were being followed pretty much throughout the entire city. There was one guy on horseback, another guy in a flying car. We were being watched. Um, apparently, to put a long story short, mm. Doc, Joshua, and I uh, forgot who the other person was, were being followed by some kind of assassin individual. Okay. And they were after one of the silver bracelets <laughs> with we think oh not 100 percent that, sure that's not good and um they were being followed there was some kind of a murder happened in this house uh, i don't know if that's related or not but sounds like a double day yeah long story short like <laughs> okay they, they kind of skimmed over it like real quick but there was a murder blah 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 magic Stuff like that. Um, Murder magic. Ah. Yeah, something about, something about a flying shark, and what? yeah, I don't know. 
<clears throat> I uh, might but be yeah, able to fill in some details here as uh, Dr. Yang told me a few things. Oh, please do, yes. He was hoping we might be able to help them out. Uh, there's a couple of magic families, prominent mm -hmm. ones, I, uh, I hear. And uh, this family that was killed by magic, they were apparently locked in a room, a dining room, I imagine, and killed by a great white shark. Sounds great. <laughs> But while this was happening, one of the other family members, who's a uh, mage herself, uh, was off surfing somewhere. Yep. Uh, so she has uh, an alibi of sorts, if, we, if she was to be considered a suspect. It mm -hmm. sounds like when the lads went and talked to her, they got the impression that she wasn't really sad that her family was killed, but that she was actually quite angry and hostile mm -hmm. that made them suspicious. I want to go visit her. She sounds cool. <laughs> she sounds like a feisty one, that's for sure. Uh, so I think that was one of the things Dr. Yang was uh, hoping we could look into more, was more about okay. this lady. So yeah. let's let's first uh, buy the house and then go visit my future new girlfriend. <laughs> ah. I smell romance in the air. Uh, All right. Oh, before we go. I want to get dressed, completely new clothes. I want to leave behind my backpack with all my stuff in it. And I want to take just my new sword. I want to make sure that my bracelet is completely covered by my sleeves, like with buttons and stuff, just make sure it's not showing. And um, I want to make sure I have like a, a hood or something as part of my clothes. Okay. Uh, what what style of clothes are you wanting to get? Like adventure gear, yeah, but with a okay. hood. Okay, yeah. sure. Uh, how is everybody else wanting to dress, and do you want to take the same kind of precautions? I put up the picture of the guy carrying the shark as a possible how to spot the murderer. <laughs> We're looking for this man. <laughs> um... <laughs> right, so I did have a question before we left here. How, how is the setup here? Where so Joshua obviously is able to keep his funds secure. Is it? Yeah. Uh, is there a safe? Is there a yes, uh, you bunch can of drop safes off. we can use? You can drop off whatever you need. Come back and pick it up whenever you want. There is a safe. Yes, there's like a a nice secure area for everything. Don't steal anything. That's, yeah, don't uh, take anything that's not yours. Right, I'm talking about another area that's not left out in the open like the spaceship and the other stuff. No, no, no. There is in the embassy. There's a secure, safe area where you gotcha. can put everything. Okay. Uh, from experience, you guys know that the only time you've ever seen it is when you were physically with McKay. Otherwise, they don't let you down there. Oh yeah. Yeah. The, we just ask them for just what we need, and then they'll bring it up to us. Excellent. I like or if we want that. to deposit something, they'll. Put it in there for us. All right. Yeah, so Probably. for the time being, I'm going to leave my backpack and all my other personal belongings until we're done with this, and then, <clears throat> yeah. All right. Yeah, before we leave, uh, I will do the same with uh, some money. Yes, um, we need to pick up the money as well before we leave. The... Um, the clothing there so i suppose i'd like to dress for that time period the gothic time period do you remember what style it is freddie's dressed in pretty much durable uh adventuring gear um uh, well i spent like a week there i'm just thinking about how oh yeah dressed. um is is a wide variety of different clothings and styles and stuff like that anything from like kind of a, a cyberpunk was retro there. Uh, so pretty much almost any style, if you want to dress as a cowboy, if you want to dress as uh, uh, like Freddy in the adventures clothing, a lot of people just dressed in uh, uh, normal, um, like uh, very simple tunics and stuff like that. It, uh, but they're, the so what social class you're wanting to be is what determines it like right now uh in his adventure clothing freddie is like um upper lower class 
Gotcha. If, if you want to be like middle, middle class, it could be something closer like blue jeans and a shirt. Or if you want to be upper class, it could be, you know, some sort of more fancy clothes, etc. So you said tunics for just commoners. So is it kind mm -hmm. of a medieval feel to it, even though they got flying cars? A little bit. Uh, tunics are easier to make than, you know, uh, a full shirt and stuff like that. Um, so well, I was thinking, uh, in that case, uh, you know, I wanted to dress not like fancy or anything, but nice, casual, upper class, like a sport coat and dark jeans, dress shirt kind of thing. Um, they, they don't really have that here, but you can dress like fancy for the 1800s, which will work there. Okay. I'll do that for now. And if I need to, uh, just buy yeah. those oh, there, one, I probably will. Sure. One extra Matter of thing. Do they have any like um like a simple little handbag that you can wear over the shoulder that I can put my binoculars inside of? <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. The prized fucking possession are the binoculars. <laughs> oh, that's a yep. good idea. I put that on my list to get something like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. The light source. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here they got Coleman lantern type stuff. You know, old old west type shit. Oh, by the way, um, technology, it works there, but not very reliably. Just right. I remember that. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah. So that's. Oh, I'll take one. I'll take my compass as well, just in case. Now I forget, in oh. this zone, do people openly wear uh, swords? Um, swords are okay. Uh, when you get into uh, different kinds of firearms, then it gets trickier because uh, that's what the military is for. And the government doesn't like competition. But uh, it's hard to go on a shooting spree with a sword. <laughs> All right, so I'll bring that. I'm going to leave um, a couple of firearms here. I'll put them on the back in storage well if uh, you also each have your own room in the embassy there's a lot of there's like 30 rooms uh for people individuals in the embassy oh. and so you can each have your own room and in your own room uh like uh, i don't i i think when the elf kids were here they started putting people's names on doors so you find a wrestling and rad room for example and in that there's a uh two pistols uh, like cowboy ones where it doesn't open the chamber. You have to open like a little door and then put in one bullet, rotate chamber, put in one bullet, rotate chamber, pain in the ass to reload. Right. Uh, but there's two of those and they're the big fucking cult pistols. There's a rifle that holds a, I forget if it's five or seven bullets and it's like a lever action deal. There's, um, uh, the ammo belt, uh, that has like a dozen bullets you can put in it. The rifle and the pistols both use uh, 45 caliber. Um, then there's a double barreled shotgun and ammo for that. And yeah, uh, like a lantern and stuff. Uh, they've done a nice job of setting up, uh, like you can just come in here and re-gear if you want cowboy shit. But a lot of PCs have no interest in cowboy shit. So they it's, end up just uh, playing a lot. Mm-hmm. That's seven bullets, by the way, for the rifles. Thank you. Mm -mm -mm. I take some guns with me. Don't know how well they'll work, by the way, just saying. I mean, they'll work, but not very reliably. Just... Yeah. Well, what can you do? Yeah. Plus, like I, like I mentioned before, for those who had gone there, the only people you saw with anything that looked gunnish is the military. Yeah, that's not good. Mm -hmm. I don't take any guns with me. Okay. And knives, swords. Yeah. Bow and arrows. You've seen, you saw some people with like bows and arrows and stuff like that. Uh, usually they were like hunters. Like I go out in the woods and hunt game and shit. Yeah. yeah probably even get away with a crossbow and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, Freddie, um, 
did you and uh, Dr. Yang perhaps uh, visit Mr. Fang? Dun, dun, dun. Mm. No. <laughs> all right. What, why, why, what's it all about? Mr. Fang is the one who's repairing our painting. Yes, we were on our way there when we spotted that we were being followed. Then we decided better not go there. So we, good thinking, good thinking. We decided to lose them and then Doc shot at them with a laser pistol. Then the agents were about to come and we fucked off. Right. <laughs> as I probably would have as well. Yeah. All right, very good. You know about the agents, right? Uh, a little bit. I've heard a little bit about them. I haven't well, encountered one yet. So if you use... If the people there, the quote-unquote background people, see something that is inappropriate for that zone, their eyes will begin to flicker and they'll kind of stand there motionless. Uh, and a I few think. minutes later, agents will arrive to get rid of whatever's causing the inappropriate behavior. Suddenly, the woman with no name begins to have a flashback of her and Alex and stuff starting a store, and it was going to be a great <laughs> store, and then magic <laughs> happened, and then the fleeing, and the screaming, and the running, and the agents. <laughs> agents are fun. <laughs> Good for business. <laughs> Yeah, right, so, so um we definitely have to fit in where we're at. Yes. Uh also we need to figure out how we're gonna carry the gold. Cause it's um over one thousand ounces mm -hmm. of gold ingots. <laughs> so we probably need to split it between the three of us. Okay. That. I yeah, yeah I, like, <laughs> I like having money. <laughs> <laughs> you just, like, just carry it, okay? You're not gonna have it. Interesting. Okay. Because I don't think one person can carry all that by themselves. Yeah, I'm willing to help. I, I like helping. It's... Okay, fine. <laughs> all right. So yeah, I guess we'll call them um, Miss Foxy and. Um, she comes in. Hello. She's a cat headed lady named Foxy for some reason. Oh, Foxy. Hello, Foxy. Good to see you again. Oh, hello. She seems to like uh, um, uh, Raslin. She seems to dislike Freddy. Hmm. Yeah, well, yeah. interesting. Who are you? I'm Foxy. I'm the housekeeper when the twins are away. Oh, okay. They're on vacation right now in Kinleyville. I know. Will they be back soon? They said they would be back soon. Surely. Surely. Don't worry. Everything will be all right. Ah, she looks relieved. How can I help you? She then looks at Raslin and ignores Freddy. Um, I understand Joshua He's giving you... Uh... Uh, permission to allow us to pick up some funds. Oh, I'll have them brought up. She goes off. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> right. Eventually, uh, uh, three rhino-headed guards bring in three large chests. Holy dooly. They set them down. Uh, she makes sure that they're unlocked, and she says... Um, anything else? Would you like something to eat? Oh, sure. A little tucker would hit the spot. Do you have like a go... little bit of whiskey for me, please? She says, I'll go get some. She brings back some food for him and some whiskey for her. Looks at Freddy, leaves. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I wasn't hungry. When she's off getting the food, I open up one of the chests. Is this uh, silver pieces? No, it's gold pieces. Uh, it is roughly, uh, checking it out, it's about 25 kilos of gold, and that's about 60 pounds, roughly. Per box? Or no, total. You've got like a thousand and some uh, Yeah, 1,100 total, yeah. 
They seem to be in ingot form. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they're not like the the coins I got before from Gothic. No. But they they are all stamped ingots and stuff. So each oh. chest is roughly twenty pounds plus the weight of the chest. Yes. However, uh, there are leather bags that you could divide it up into if you wanted to be less conspicuous than trooping yeah, that's, that's going, please idea. rob us, please rob us. We're each carrying a large chest. Who knows what good stuff is inside? Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah, do that. That's kind of what I was thinking of is how to move it discreetly. I don't think any of you knows how to do like the general pocket. No. General I, pocket? I, I can barely do a sword one. Okay. Well, in general. I don't know what you're talking about, mate. Mm. All right, hold on. I, I turn to him. See, you do this, and I wave my hand to him. Mm. Oh, he attempts to teach you a spell. Let's see if he what can pull the, that off. What was the willpower for this zone? Uh, let me double check. I wave <laughs> my hands at him. <laughs> Good description of a spell. Yes, all it's, spells are obvious. You're casting them. There it is. Furry. Uh, magic. If you if you're trying to teach me the sword trick, that one Three. I know. The, oh. the pocket. The Never pocket mind then. The pocket one you're talking about, I don't know. That is pocket. It's um, like it's, a higher level of that. It's part of the pocket school. Gotcha. Okay. Never mind that. I don't teach. I teach you a different spell then. What's the one power? <laughs> Times three. <laughs> Times three. Okay. I'd first start with the do you know game, just in case. Yeah, do you know <laughs> pure poison disease? I do not. Okay, I'll teach you that. Mm. Or try to. Badly. Mm. So I'll teach you first. I try to detect power of pattern. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Good teaching. Now all he's got to do is pull off the spell and JP picks up a new skill. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, hold on. No, no. I'm nodding Wait, with no, great no. interest. Uh, yes. Tell me more. Hold on, let me find it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not, there it Just keep getting more and more excited while he's trying to look for it, Jay. Are we there yet? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Ah, fumble. Right. <laughs> He not only uh, doesn't teach it to you, but his head explodes. This is how you do it, he says. You ready for your fumble card, Freddy? Yeah. Cool. Come on, draw five. Now, uh, right. He manages to break himself. Roll a d20. Okay. Three. In addition to uh, your, your loss for the spell, you lose three additional magic points. That yeah. could have been hilarious if you'd rolled the twenty. This is what you do. <laughs> Just keels over and over. Like, I can do that, says Rasslin. <laughs> I'm taking the gold. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, maybe some other time, Rasslin. Yeah. Magic is hard, mate. Uh, since I fumbled, but I didn't fumble the teaching, can yeah. I still teach him later? No. Nope. Yes. Yes, you just have oh, yes, a okay. fumble card for your oh. That is fucking hilarious. Do you know All the right, uh, do you know the slow time? I do, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I can teach you some more when I'm not so exhausted. Yeah, that took a lot of it, it looks like. Yeah, let me help you up. Help Freddy up and dust him off. Yeah, thanks. All right, uh, we ready to move right, on? So um, now back to figuring out how to transport all of this. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, we just put it in a bag, like the bags, and carry it. Yeah, the bags, and then uh, we could probably just. They have taxis. Yeah. We could take a taxi. Uh, do you have gold with you, or. Silver. <clears throat> uh, yes. Um, but I was thinking of leaving some of it here. Yeah. 
just so you know, the whole transaction shouldn't cost more than a thousand ounces of gold. So we'll have hmm. about a hundred left over to do whatever with the, the white dove. Nice. A bar. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to have Foxy put uh, some money in the safe before we go, and then I think I'm good. She is delighted to do that for you. <laughs> um, and he had paid uh, 40 gold for the retainer. Is that right? Which retainer? Uh, down payment. They pay 400. 400. 400 gold? Yeah. Got it. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, how, how much are you having Foxy put away for you? 200 Gothic gold. <laughs> She's looking at all this money like. The fuck is wrong with these I mean, five gold is like three months of wages, and you're like, there you go. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> like, okay. Jeez. Don't forget to put that in the. There's this yeah, I just put it in the uh, money storage yeah. box. Yeah. 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 I, hope, I hope we pay these people well so they just don't run off with the money. Shows are getting a horse. Oh, thank you so much for <laughs> getting on the horse. <laughs> Well, Joshua seems like a smart bloke. I'm sure he took care of that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, are we ready? What, what's the hold yeah, up? Yeah. And, and we're off. Right. You guys uh, uh, oh. walk over to uh, Clem's. Uh, Clem with his big otter head and uh, different colored fur and about the shape of mutton chops. It's like, Howdy, what can I do you for? Oh, I checked the notepad. Uh, the last thing I wrote was afraid of what? It, it, it says afraid of what on it. Okay. What? I'm trying to ready? communicate with Clem. Look, and it shows, it says hello at the top. Then oh. it says, don't be afraid. Then it says, Afraid of what? Nice. Can I also write something? It looks like it's all in the same handwriting, too. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing this to yourself? I didn't write this middle bit. No? Which one? I wrote the first one and the last one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, what can I do you for? Says Clem. We want to shave. Hot towel? Yeah. Haircut, please, as well. He stops and blinks at Freddy. What what style would you like, sir? Um, curly blonde with a blonde handlebar handlebar mustache. <laughs> All right. He goes over and he's clipping Freddy's hair, which then becomes curly blonde. <laughs> and hold on, checking something here. And that he has right. a curl, curly blonde mustache as well. Oh, that's fantastic, right. Freddy. Hi. I'm, in, I'm incognito. He oh. doesn't look incognito to you. <laughs> 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 he looks like he escaped from a circus. <clears throat> I give him the, the thumbs curly, up. The curly blonde mustache is very, very unique. Maybe someone likes this style, you know? Maybe it's like people like slums. Uh, yeah, he even changed yeah. the color of his eyebrows and stuff. Yeah, he he begins getting curious about his crotch now. <laughs> <laughs> you need to pay for that. What? Howdy, what can I do you for? Says Clem. Hot towel and a shave. Where are you going back to? Gothic. Them as well. He applies hot towels to everybody, and when he takes them off, he's no longer otter-headed. He's human-headed with big mutton-chopped sideburns. Shave, he says. Hey, mate. Did you say yeah or nah? 
Oh, I said, hey, mate. Howdy. What can I do you for? Says Clem. You keep up the good work, Clem. <clears throat> Test the bags here. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, you're, you're worried if somebody stabs one of them with a sword, then you'll be leaving a trail of gold pieces. Mm-hmm. Other than that, they're fine. I, I put the hood, the hood up over my head. No problem. Yeah. It shows the the curly blonde mustache sticking out the sides of the hood. <clears throat> All right, maybe we should uh, hail a cab. So yeah. Without uh, trudging this on foot. No problem. Uh, you guys hail a hansom. Uh, just as a reminder. Here's some of the fun things that you can see here in Gothic. Uh, The handsome cab is uh, on the right side, uh, middle. Uh, Those are normally for two people, but so they end up charging you two silver pieces instead of just the one since you've got an extra person and you guys are all heavy for some reason. Um, Also, if you scroll down, you'll see uh, the three different symbols. Um, The first symbol you see on uh, some people who are in the active military who are wearing the helmets and armor that you're seeing there. And of course the uh, good old white, blue and green flag. And there's a lot of uh, different posters that say service guarantees citizenship. Oh, I'm also on constantly like looking to see if I'm not being followed or anything. Freddy is looking so paranoid that it's freaky. Well, um, I want to be actively looking too. Once we, um, once we're in the handsome, you know, since they were being followed before, I just want to be actively watching myself. Excellent. Yana, do you want to be all uh, paranoid and freaky too? Oh well, yeah, it's nice to do so. Everybody give me counter surveillance rolls at full. Nope. You notice also there's a lot of non-humans wandering around. Uh, Ogres, trolls, stuff like that. Uh, they seem to be dressed uh, in at least a loincloth. Uh, they're looking around awkwardly like, I don't know what's going on. But although people give them a, a, a berth, uh, they, you know, they go make sure not to bump into them and shit. They aren't yelling or screaming or throwing things. So, What, what kind of non-humans did you say? All kinds, mon- uh, trolls, and uh, um, I mean, they're not in any groups or anything like that. But like, there's an ogre over there looking around blurrily. Um, there's a couple of orc-like individuals talking to each other, stuff like that. I was found. New or... <clears throat> was, it, was this new, or were they here before? Uh, this is new. Very new. Since the re- regime change. Look at all these confused blokes in the loincloths. Mm-hmm. Any idea they, about that, Freddy? No idea. They, they, all the, all of them, uh, or sorry, some of them uh, are dressed in like their normal garb. Others are dressed in military type uniforms and stuff. Must be new residents trying to get their citizenship cards. Mm-hmm. Ah, they, you know, work visas or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I think I think if you want to get an 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 ID, one way of doing it is to sign up to the military, serve for however long, and then you'll be a citizen. Mm. The handsome driver says, "Service guarantees citizenship." As though you haven't been able to read off enough posters. But most people are still civilians. Yeah, what's, what's that about? From where are all these new people coming? Ah, uh, well, the, the military took over, miss. Uh, it's been a while since you've been back in town, huh? Yeah, I'm from somewhere else. Oh, he says, <laughs> I've been somewhere else before. It's nice. Yeah, I like it there, you know, somewhere else. It's... Uh-huh. 
It's not bad. So, so like, I did the military took over. Well, it, it, there's, I, it's not not my place to say. Uh, some people say it was the incompetency of the the guy who took over from the council and stuff, the shadow council. But uh, you know, the whole deal with the giant army of the undead coming and the military went and squashed it like a bug. All right. So everybody likes the military now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And a lot of a lot of uh, things that used to be thought of as monsters. Uh, helped out, and so now that they're they're working on getting their uh, citizenship too. So before they were like in hiding and stuff. Well, uh, yeah, you know, know. you know, we've just yeah. killed too many of them, and so you know, he's just... what is the name of this new leader? Uh, the military. Do, 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 does the military have a, like a leader? Uh, several, I think. I'm not even sure who's really in charge of it. Uh, okay. Yeah. Ah, here's your destination. There'll be two silvers, please. Okay. Uh, pay him. Thank you, sir. Uh, which currency did you pay him in? Um, silver? Or can he break a gold? Uh, no, no. The silver's fine, but uh, which, which kind of silver did you give him? I've got the currency. He says, ah, you want to go get some new, uh, I'll take these, but you want to go over to a bank and get your uh, currency exchange for new Gothic stuff, sir. Or new new uh, uh, military currency, sir. Ah. Mm. All right, thank you. Certainly. And he tips his uh, hats and you guys uh, clamber out. It's not super comfortable having three people and a handsome captain. They're made for two for reasons and uh so you guys uh uh head over and the guards uh recognize freddy well no they don't actually hold on a second <laughs> well they recognize Wesley. oh yeah they recognize uh, no they recognize freddy they're like ah that's you i recognized you right away says one of the guards i'll get the consigliere consigliere Thanks. comes out and he says hmm and he's like that's freddy there he's got new hair and stuff Ah, he says, ah, okay, please come in, come in. Uh, Rasslin' Rad, he says. That's right. Heard Good about you, mate. Yes, and uh, she is. Hey. What? Mildred. What about you? Oh, Mildred, yes. Yes. Uh, he says, please come in, come in. Um, he goes and gets Mr. Hunt, and him, you, and Mr. Hunt, and several guards sit down for a nice, friendly uh, thing. Uh, Mr. Hunt says, ah, yes. Uh, which one of you is wrestling rad? He says, oh, that'd be me, mate. Good to meet ah. you. He shakes your hand. He says, I was told you would be uh, uh, working on some of the finer points. Um, here is the uh, contract. He slides a thick sheath of papers over to you. All right. Guess we'll have a, have a gander here. Give me a bureaucracy roll, please. Oh, uh, do you want the assistant five? A lot of bureaucratic wording and shit in this. You want to reduce your hand by two? Oh. Maybe save that. There might be a couple other roles that are going to follow here. Maybe those okay. might be more important. Ah. That wouldn't have helped anyway. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of words in here. Mm -hmm. All looks pretty standard, I think. Yes, as you can see, it's a standard boilerplate operation. But... <clears throat> so what about uh, any fixtures and equipment that are currently on the property there, Mr. Hunt? Oh, I'm assuming that uh, those will go along with uh, the property, and, um, uh, which is pretty standard, as you will agree. Uh, give me a bargain roll. He hadn't even thought of that. Do you want the assistant slide? Yeah, go ahead. All right, I'm playing. 